Okay, so here is the uh, color sensor from Adafruit, and I just picked this up at Micro Center. They carry it, so I didn't have to mail order it, but if you don't have a Micro Center near you, then you might have to send away in the mail to get it. But it's uh, this one costs, what, a little bit less than $8? And I kind of like the idea of... Right, let's zoom in a little bit on this guy. It's kind of kind of small. Okay, so it's an interesting little device. Uh, you can see how small it is. And um, it's got six pads on here. And it communicates uh, serially through those pads. Let me see if I can read them down here. So, I like the idea about having a uh, smart sensor. What this does is it's, it's uh, images just basically it's got six pixels or twelve pixels or something but it just looks everywhere and looks at different colors each pixel looks at a different color and um, so I, I think that you can probably do some interesting things with that having a a sensor that's smart and then you could pair it up with uh, for instance uh, an Arduino Uno or something like that which is uh, not as powerful of a microprocessor you know something a little bit less powerful than a Raspberry Pi or, or other other high-end processors and then you can do something uh, pretty powerful because you have the sensor doing a lot of the work rather than having to do a lot of processing on your processor and uh, so then you can get away with a cheaper processor. You know, these are what ten dollars ten dollars or something like that and so um, I think we might be able to do some interesting projects using smarter sensors and and uh, not as powerful uh, microprocessors. So the first thing we're going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to solder some uh, some wires to this. Okay, it looks like we have the SCL and SDA terminals here and here, and it looks like they might be redundant on the other side. And a power of uh, 3 volts and ground. So we'll get out the soldering iron and we will try soldering some leads to that and maybe hook it up to uh, Arduino and see if we can talk to it and uh, get some interesting projects going. Okay, so here is our color detector and I have some wires here. I think I'm probably, looks like there's uh, six holes, but I probably only have to hook up about four of them because, uh, <coughs> let's see, this is three volts. This is what? Ooh close to the soldering iron. SDA, SCL, and up here is ground. So... So we got four wires onto it. And we got our... This is our... We use a, like a 12 watt soldering iron with a fine tip. When I'm doing small stuff like this. Okay. So we got our four wires soldered onto the uh, four different pads. And it looks like there's two redundant ones up here. So I won't solder any wires onto that because we don't need six wires. We only need four. Won't solder six on. Okay, so now I guess we'll have to look at the Arduino and uh, see see how we're going to hook this into that and uh, write some sketches for that and test it out. Okay, so here is our uh, GitHub, and um, this looks like it might be a good example to test out our. Um, our color sensor with, and I wasn't sure which pins, I, I knew the positive and the negative hook up to certain pins, but I wasn't sure which pins to hook up the uh, uh, SCL and SDA pin, uh, wires to, but it looks like uh, they're going to tell me in this, this example, so we might try to copy this example and see how it works, and so let's hook up our pins and wires and we'll copy this guy. Okay. Okay, so we have our sensor up here, and we've ran a bunch of wires down to our Arduino. And uh, this very end pin is uh, analog 5, and the next one over is analog 4. And so we're going to hook uh, SCL 
up to analog 5. So SCL is this wire up here. If you look on the board, it will have labeled SCL and SCA, uh, SDA. Okay. And we'll hook SDA up to analog 4 here on the Arduino. And uh, that's what the program's telling us that it wants. And so we'll try that out and see if it works. Take a look. SDL is over here and SCA is over here. And if we follow those wires down, they'll hook to analog 5 and 4. So analog 5 should have SCL and analog 4 should have SDA. These are some type of serial communication protocol. Okay, we'll try uh, copying that INO over to our Arduino burner, our Arduino um, IDE program, and see if we can uh, burn this guy and uh, see how the sensor works. Should be interesting. There we go. Okay. Also, you don't want to forget the. Uh, power and voltage and look be very careful here don't hook up this to five volts you'll probably ruin our, our uh, sensor here you want to hook that up the ground to the ground and the, the voltage to 3.3 volts right you don't want to hook it up to the higher voltage this uh, too high a voltage could damage the device so anyway four four wires hooked in here going to the sensor Okay, so now we have our Arduino and our uh, color sensor hooked up, and I'm uh, going to go over here and we'll plug the uh, USB, we have our USB cable, and plug it into our Arduino here. Holy cow. That color sensor lights up super bright when you plug it in. Wow. Look at that. I can't even get a good shot of it because it's so bright. Holy cow. That is something else. Okay. sure this is plugged in all the way because it doesn't seem like okay there we go so here's our sketch that we copied from the um, examples of Adafruit and uh, let's just go into our tools and make sure we got the right board in there and uh, this is uh, Arduino Uno okay so set, select Arduino Uno, and uh, make sure we got it set up on the right port, and we'll check our program, make sure it... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I started um, scrolling up through the errors here, and it looks like um, this program is trying to call some kind of... Um, uh, library, which uh, obviously we didn't download, the Adafruit TCS 34725.h. So I'm going to have to figure out how to download that library because that seems to be the problem here. Okay, so we we'll get that library downloaded and hopefully uh, our uh, our, pro our sketch will work now. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how to install the libraries, and I uh, somehow got on this Adafruit site right here at the GitHub, and it tells at the bottom here, it says use your uh, Arduino library manager and search for this right here. So it's Adafruit, of course that's also in the, the program, TCS34725. And so I believe what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, what is it? Um, okay, sketch, include library, 
here's manage libraries I'm going to click on that and it allows us to do a search here and so we'll search for this Adafruit TCS 34275 and uh, here it is right here okay so I guess we can in click on that and just click install and uh, maybe it's installed I don't know let's, let's see let's take a look at our libraries tools uh, or I said under sketches libraries and uh, okay there it is Adafruit TCS 34725 how interesting let me get rid of this okay so here is again our uh, our board and I'll plug her back into the USB here and when I do that this thing has this really bright annoying light which I think I hope helps it work and let's just check our sketch to see if it oh has no member name calculate color temperature DN oh. do we need that color temp I really don't care about that so the library's got some bugs in it. Well, I guess we could comment that out. And probably have to comment that out too. Okay, so I guess if we comment those two things out, it seems to be good to go. Really? Okay, so I guess what happened was is, uh, we uh, didn't set up the uh, the board and the port properly. Now this is uh, the center tools board. We want to make sure that the board is the proper board, which is uh, Uno. We're running an Arduino Uno, and we didn't set up the uh, port either. The port is Uno is hooked up to this port, so now we told it which serial port to write to and so let's try it again okay and it looks like it uploaded let's take a look at we probably gotta open up our serial monitor and we'll see okay so it's it's putting out some numbers so let's let's put something in front of it to see if the numbers change okay so maybe that's yellow very interesting yellow sticky pad in front of our uh, device down here let's take a look here our device is blindingly bright I'll put some yellow in front of it and that changes color oh uh, let's see do we got any more colors here this is kind of a brownish color okay and that seems to change color up there um, here's something black I don't know is that black how interesting uh, let's see do we have anything that's any other bright different colors around here well, here's a box that's red. I'm just blinded by that light. Okay, well, it seems like it's doing something. So I, I guess our sensor's working. So there we go. Uh, our Adafruit uh, color sensor with its blinding white light can't even look at it and it looks like it is uh, doing something so we'll have to play around with this a little bit and 
see how well it can distinguish different colors. Here's a green lighter. Stick that in front of that. Okay. So it definitely looks like it's doing something. So anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.